formal letter writing and the topic for today is about complaint letter. So we have many uh, formal letters for examination and that the main is complaint letter. We are supposed to write complaint letter. The right side as you know we write the address. Sometimes they give you the address in the question paper in the question so you have to write that address that they give usually for formal letter they give an address. But if they don't you have your own address as we have discussed in the informal letter writing. After that we write the name of the the address of the person to be so it comes here is two after two we don't put a comma the municipal commissioner whoever to whoever the letter is concerned to the municipal commissioner comma shall I put and we write the pin code over here then comes the subject now see I have taken a gap after after it over here and the properly in the center. So we write subject and complaint regarding. Now what the complaint is about has to be specified in the subject. Don't forget to write the subject. So if it's, it's like complaint regarding pathetic condition of road or complaint regarding improper street lightning or complaint regarding illegal parking whatsoever may be the question in the examination. You start with respected sir. All these things have to be learnt well before. Even like the first paragraph as I said. Now these are some sentences which you have to learn. I insist you to mug up if it is the question of writing the exam paper or you are appearing for the examination. So I am writing in connection with shopping mall, illegal shopping or shopping mall construction. Or I'm writing to bring to your attention to a problem with a traffic jam. Or you can write, I am writing this letter to bring an unavoidable problem of my area to your, to your observation, the issue of stray dog menace. Or I'm writing this letter to inform you of a worse problem that I'm currently facing. So all these sentences will make up your first paragraph and you're going to introduce your complaint or the problem you're facing in the first paragraph. Then comes the soul of the letter. That is the soul of the formal letter. That is the second paragraph. Now in the second paragraph you are going to mention in the first paragraph you have complained about a problem. So in the second paragraph you're going to Again, give the reason that why this situation has occurred in your city. Occurred in your city. Like for example, the take the example of uh, pathetic condition of road. You have written to complain about the con bad condition of road, the pathetic condition of road. So you would answer this question like this. Why this situation has occurred? It's because because of the poor maintenance of the road. Because or you can say repairs have not been made uniformly so the condition of the road has become pathetic and this is what you write in this first sentence of the second paragraph then you can write what is the consequence result now this problem has occurred what is the result of that problem what is the effect of the problem on the people on you like you can say it is causing inconvenience for walking during rainy season the water gets filled up in the potholes on the road then you can say that it is there is it's really because uh, children are getting injured while playing and you can again say that even senior citizens senior citizens find it difficult to walk over it over the road because there are a lot of potholes and then at the end, you, in a letter, you shouldn't only complain or you shouldn't only show the consequences but also give some kind of suggestions. Like you can give suggestions like, uh, please establish a monitoring mechanism or you can say that uh, you can recommend the officer to use quality material and you can say that again, um, that instead of repairing the potholes it would be better if the entire road would be completely asphalted 
So that would be the suggestions you would give. Two or two suggestions are more than enough. So for each question, there should be two, 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 two answers that will make up your second paragraph. So remember, reason, result, solution. Why this situation has occurred? What is the consequence or effect of that situation? And you have to give a suggestion, an alternative, a solution. Okay? So that will in the end make up the second paragraph. And for the third paragraph, again I have some more sentences for you to make it really easy for you to study during exam time. That is, you can add up again some sentences of these kind like I hope you will quickly initiate suitable solution in regard to this matter. In conclusion, I want your personal intervention to accelerate the issue on the first step. I hope you will tackle this matter as soon as possible or you can write I look forward to the problem I look forward to the problem being resolved I hope the authorities concerned will do the needful and resolve the issue at the earliest I hope the authorities concerned will take the necessary action and in the end we write over here thanking you and complete with the subscription that is yours sincerely or yours truly again after your you don't put an apostrophe you write directly s and then sincerely comma x y z so remember the spelling of sincerely since and r e l y and then the entire letter would be seen in this way If you like the video, please share it and do subscribe to my channel 